we're going to do our transition here. Here's the problem. I, I talk to a lot of people about business ideas and starting businesses and getting stuff off the ground and getting started and motivating yourself and so on. And by a huge majority, this is the biggest problem people have. I don't know what to do. I want, yes, I want to make a million dollars. Conceptually, that's a cool idea to me. I have no idea what to do in the business realm to turn that vague notion into a real business. And if you can't think of an idea, then it's problematic. So we're going to talk about this and then switch over. So I'm going to give you a couple different ideas for coming up with ideas and then you're going to sit down and come up with your own ideas. So here's the first one. You can duplicate something that already exists. This is the easiest way to start a business. My favorite example in this realm is pizza. Okay. People like pizza. This is just a simple statement of fact. Human beings like pizza. And if you think about it, it is nearly the ideal food, and I won't, I'm not going to go into it, but if you sit tonight and you think about pizza, you think about all its attributes, the fact that it's pre-portioned, it's, you know, it's holdable in your hand, it can be eaten hot or cold, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's, I mean, there's all these aspects of pizza. It's perfect, okay? and people like to eat it. Okay, think about how many people have taken this simple idea and spun it in different ways. So there's, uh, well, there's Pizza Hut and Pizza Inn and Domino's and Papa John's and all of that. So there's pizza you sit down to eat in restaurants. There's pizza that's delivered to your house from a restaurant. There's the whole world of frozen pizza. Go to Harris Teeter sometime and just walk through that section. There's you know, DiGiorno's and Totino's and Red Baron and Freshetta and how many brands, just a frozen pizza are there. All of those backed by gigantic, immense companies, many of them public, making pizza. You know, it's not a complicated thing. Then there's all the derivative pizza products like Hot Pockets and pizza rolls and pizza nuggets and all the other things you can do with pizza. And you could say today, I'm going to start a business that makes pizza. And you could just figure out a unique twist that lets you spin that and into something unique. So think about Papa John's. What does Papa John's do? They make pizza. This is not complicated. That's all they do. But what do they do that's weird or different or unique? They put that freaky little pepper thing in there right? That's it. There, right there. Oh, look, there's this pepper thing and this garlic stuff, you know, this. That's, there's, there's two extra things in the box. Is there any conceptual difference between Papa John's and all these other pizza restaurants outside of that? I, I don't know. It, I mean, it's a circle with sauce and cheese and meat on it in a box. That's the concept, but they put a couple extra things in it that are a little different. Okay, what was Domino's thing? We're going to get the pizza to your house in a finite amount of time at a time when that didn't happen. Okay, what is, you know, what's Pizza Hut's deal? I don't know what Pizza Hut's deal is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they've been, I mean, they were probably the first pizza restaurant or the second pizza restaurant. I, you know, if I had to guess, that was it. And... And, it, you know, now that I think about this a little more, if you were to look back in the history of fast food, McDonald's was the first company to think, okay, we're going to pre-make hamburgers and french fries and we're going to give them to people very quickly. That was a really simple idea, but no one had done it before. And Pizza Hut was probably along those same lines. It was a kind of sort of fast food. Okay, so if you have no other clue what to do for a business idea, just look out at the marketplace and find something that's working and duplicate it and make it a little bit different. That's a business idea. Okay, eliminate bad experiences. 
So you look out at the marketplace. This is just like the last one, but you look out at the marketplace, you find something that stinks, and you make it better. Okay? Netflix is my favorite, favorite example. They just cracked through 20 million customers. If you've looked at their market cap, it's something, I think it's $30 billion right now. It's an amazing number, a huge number. Um, so what did they do? I, I guarantee you they sat in a room, however many of them were starting this company, they, st they were sitting around a table like this. They said, what is everything bad about the video industry, like the video rental industry right now? They just took every single bad thing and they thought about it and they figured out how to undo the badness of that experience. So they looked at, like, what's the worst part of Blockbuster? The worst part of Blockbuster is if you do the human thing of forgetting to return your video on time and then you are brutally punished for that. I mean, that's the blockbuster business model. They said, okay, we aren't going to brutally punish people. We're going to just totally erase that whole concept of negativity. So they took everything that was bad about video rental and they made it either neutral or good. That's all they did. And people were so thankful to have the bad experience eliminated that they flock to this because it's good rather than bad. So that's, that's another way. Look out at the industry, find something that's really uncomfortable to people and figure out how to make it comfortable. And all the people who are, are uncomfortable will come to you. Innovation, which is seeing something no one else has seen before. This is, you know, the idea of invention. Um, the idea of putting things together in ways that no one's ever thought of before. Um, is this innovation? Like, I, I don't know if you can remember, but there was a time when in America this didn't exist because water comes out of the tap and it's free. Why would you put it in bottles and pay for it? I mean, the, no one had ever conceived of that idea because it makes no sense, right? So someone said, I'm going to put water from the tap in a bottle <laughs> and I'm going to charge you a dollar for it. Free water. I'm going to take free water out of the tap, put it in a bottle, I'm going to charge you for it. That's innovation. That is really, <laughs> that's amazing. I, I mean, uh, NC State being an engineering school obviously is interested in more amazing forms of innovation than that, but that is innovative. PQB, a personal cubic display that arranges five flat panel screens into the shape of a box. By tracking both the user and PQB, we can render perspective corrected images and support tangible interactions such as rolling and bouncing objects, navigating a large scene by tilting and poking and prodding objects. Okay, so what they've done there is this is a flat panel display, right? They've put five of these together and done the software so that you can look inside of it like it's a real box. They're also doing some head tracking there as well. That's innovative. They aren't, they haven't in, like they haven't come up with any new technology. They've just put the pieces together in a different way that no one had thought of before and created something that's really, I, I just remember the first time I saw that, my mouth hung open because it was so unexpected. Like, I just hadn't ever thought of it. It's, it's genius. So, anyway. Uh, in, the, um, in the realm of, of solving a pet peeve, here's a pet peeve. You, uh, the screen isn't big enough. Oh. Okay, here's, here's what the pet peeve they're solving, and it's a funny pet peeve. You want the shampoo that's at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, <laughs> now that's as, that's as just trivial as pet peeves get, right? But there are a lot of people this really pisses off. <laughs> All right. We solved the problem. It's, I mean, it's that simple. 
you, you, there are millions of pet peeves like this. If you just look around your, your world, <laughs> millions of them. I, a lot of solution, a lot of business ideas are that simple. Just find one and address it. Uh, in the interest of time, we're going to skip this and we're going to jump to our exercise. My, my point is that there are lots of different ways to get business ideas, right? 